We've had this Echelon bike for a while and it's been fairly good. A couple comments now that we've rode it a couple hundred miles and had it a couple months. The grip here has a tendency to get a little dirty so you have to wipe it down every once in a while. I'm still not big on the app trying to oversell me on the classes. One of the things that really isn't doing it for us is this seat. Now this is the seat that came with the Echelon and for most people it might be okay but we have a broad range of folks that are using this bike and they want comfort. We've tried different angles of the seat, we moved it back and forth, we're just not completely happy with how this is working out. So we upgraded to this seat. It's a bike route. It's a full leather seat with a hole. I'm gonna try the whole seat out. I've never done that before. It's got lots of cushion and you can see it's a lot wider. Seven and a half inches wide, 10 inches in length. See this groove here, supposedly it's unisex, both good for men and women profiles. And we wanna have it kind of like this, flat. And we're gonna try that. We never had this back in the day. We just took like a regular shopping bag you get in a grocery store and boom, we would just put that over the top if it was raining. But for some reason, this is the hip thing to do. And they make it this green color so that you don't lose it, I guess. All right, now I do have a wrench for this guy, but this seat, and I'll post it down below if you're interested in buying one yourself, comes with this great multi-wrench Take it right out of the bag here. Now I've never seen anything like this. I'll pick it up later. I mean, look at this thing. That's a pretty crafty tool. I can see kind of keeping that in my bike bag just in case I needed it. And a couple Allen wrenches, not bad. And it comes with a how to mount your seat. I've rode bikes across Australia, across the United States, and lots of centuries, those are 100 mile rides. And I like a forward tilt on my seat, but not everybody does. So we're gonna go as neutral as possible and go with a level profile and see how that works for everybody. I'm not just the only one riding this bike. Even though I have this kind of Gucci socket wrench, I try to use the tools that come with the kit is part of the evaluation. So let's we'll go in here and try to match it up as best as we can. Looks like it's that one. And a couple twists. Remember it's righty tighty, lefty loosey clockwise to tighten, counterclockwise to untighten. And then just take it off. Now let's put this guy on here. If you recall from a previous episode, we tried to move the seat forward to give us more of a broad range horizontally, and I moved it all the way back here. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this seat. Maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe it's all the way back already. Huh, interesting. It's got much more travel, if you notice, between the two seats. And if you look at the horn or the front of the seat, they're right about the same position. Trying to get that so you can see it here. So maybe I don't need to do anything as far as the forward and aft, front and back goes. Just clean it off here a little bit. And then, all right, now let's look at the up and down. Okay, it's slightly up a little bit to loosen the bolts on both sides. They're already slack, by the way. Now it's too far down. You wanna make it as level as possible. All right, we'll go with that. Now, the other thing you wanna make sure you do is make it sure that's in alignment. You don't want it crooked one side or the other. And one of the things I've noticed, it's got a nice little, I don't know if you can see this, it's got a nice little end on it to keep the post from going I guess that had the same thing here. Huh, never noticed that before. So that it sits flush on the top of the post all the way as far as it needs to go. So now we're just gonna go in here and tighten both sides. 
and once again clockwise just to tighten it up. You want to try to do the same amount of turns on both sides. I want to make sure that you get some threads hanging out past the nut to make sure you got it on there securely. Talk is cheap. We really got to test this guy out. Now I'm going to probably post a six months from now video, but wow, I can tell right away that the seat angle is good and the seat is comfortable. The seat that came with the bike just never seemed to be good for me or anyone else. Wow. I could do several hours easy on this seat. The seat makes a difference. The other thing is, is when you're adjusting the seat up and down, make sure that you do the test where you have your foot flat on the pedal and then sitting upright, not to the side or anything like that. And you can test where you are here to make sure you're level side to side. And then just bring the pedal down there like that. At flat footed, if you have a slight bend in the knee, then your seat height is right. I wish I would have gotten this seat a long time ago. I'll do a longer term thing as I am with the bike. We're out to a couple months and hundreds of miles, we're not to a thousand yet. But this slot in the seat is a great investment. It's got a little spring on it here, you can see, but it's not too much. It gives just enough. There's nice, firm and comfortable padding. And the seat is leather, so I think that's a plus. That was a good investment. And I'll probably check into all my other bikes and see if I'm gonna go with this slotted pole design because it's so much more comfortable than the regular seats. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in sports evaluations, designs of all kinds, home repairs, and I even do some costume and prop building, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.